Hi, this is JP from Not the Lights Over Arkham. This time I will be playing Leo Anderson and I will be using uh, cards from two core sets and from the the Forgotten Age campaign deluxe box. So I am working with a limited card pool and this video is basically to show how you can play without the full collection. So let's first look at Leo's deck, which we are using. I was tempted to make an Ursula deck, because in the Forgotten Age campaign you usually want to evade enemies, but as I've used mainly Seekers and Rogues in earlier episodes of this series, so I decided to go with the Guardian. So Leo it was, and uh, we are tooled out for fighting. We have a 45 automatic, two flashlights for investigating, then as we are not playing with the taboo, I'm using two machetes, and because Leo really likes allies and utilizes them quite efficiently, I've added two guard dogs to Leo de Lucas, and of course there's Mitch Brown, which gives us extra ally slots. So we can have uh, either Leo in play or Mitch in play and two guard dogs. But uh, it depends which allies we pull uh, in, in which order. And uh, Leo is quite uh, usually expanding his allies, so <laughs> we might uh, cycle mo many of the allies during this game, we'll see. Uh, in the events we have a dodge to avoid some nasty snake bites maybe. Maybe a snake tries to bite us and we have to use a dodge to avoid that, so we don't get poisoned, but we'll see. Uh, East drop is... Uh, I was first thinking that it's a good car for Leo, but then I remembered that it's not that great because Leo has only one agility so you have to evade the enemy before you can use the east drop but uh, if for example we are able to somehow eva evade something it might be good but it also gives us uh, intellect icon and helps us if we need to for example parlay and I didn't uh, find any other card that might suit this deck any better. Then of course we are using two elusives and uh, this will help us greatly to get away from uh, annoying snakes that might bite us and uh, avoid killing the them uh, with the elusives. Emergency cash is of course important in Guardian because your assets usually cost a lot of resources, you want to have some resource generation. Evidence is quite useful as you uh, probably will kill something with Leo. Leo is quite a good fighter and if you kill something you can use evidence to get a clue while you're at it. Then um, this is starting to be a repeat from earlier. Um, decks I've used in this series, we have the basic skill cards, we have two guts. Uh, this time we are using two overpowers, because Leo is mostly fighting instead of evading. Uh, we have the perceptions and uh, of course unexpected courage. And uh, Leo is use, uh, using also the vicious blows to deal with those pesky three health minions. We have loads in this uh, encounter deck. Uh, the basic weakness for this deck ended up being Stubborn Detective. That is more than fine, because Leo probably can kill that pesky detective off easily after Leo got, has a gun or a machete out. But that's basically the deck. We are trying to investigate as best we can, but we are equipped to fight when needed. Uh, the only downside for this deck, for this campaign, is the low agility and 
low ways to evade enemies. Uh, but we'll try to do with what we have. Um, as a side note, Leo was my blind investigator for the blind playthrough for the Forgotten Age back in the day. So uh, bring some fond memories and I actually got uh, to the end and I was then only using one core set. So it was a bit, bit rough because I didn't have two copies of the core set back then. But that's basically uh, the deck and uh, I'll talk more about the scenario later and uh, I'll just mention that we are using the uh, re regular version of the TFA campaign so no return to alterations for the uh, exploration deck or anything like that so uh, that out of the way let's get started <laughs> So I have pre-shuffled uh, decks, we can start by drawing our hand of 5 cards. So we get 2 guts, guard dog, uh, emergency cash and peace drop. I think I'm drawing a mulligan in these 3 and uh, drawing 3 more cards. So another emergency cash, Leo De Luca and Elusive. Okay, we maybe wanted to find a uh, weapon or a flashlight or anything, but I think we play Leo and go from there. Uh, the guard dog might be good, but I think I'll value Leo more at this point to get the extra action. Four actions is quite powerful in true solo as we have found out uh, when playing earlier games this series. Uh, that is the deck shuffles. So, uh, first action, I'll play the emergency cash to generate uh, more resources. And uh, I'll actually play Leo the at this point, uh, we might try to explore. So, um, we have an extra action if we explore and find a bad location or get something nasty. So, uh, we will get an extra action. So, I'll, uh, as my third action, explore. So we are looking for these symbols, so the red square, the green diamond or the purple moon. And we find the pro bridge, which is the purple moon. Uh, this is an uh, annoying location uh, for Leo, because you are testing uh, agility too, and if you fail, uh, Cancel the exploration, take two damage, lose all remaining action at the end of your turn, place your investor in the river canyon if it's not in play, so it's an exploration deck. So at least we can find the river canyon easily if we fail. And I might just uh, investigate for my last action now. Or maybe, actually, we could. Uh, I'll just have to check. So. We need three clues, but we'll just check. I can explore even if I'm not in, a, uh, even if I'm in a location with ex uh, with clues remaining. So actually, I'm exploring here because I might just want to get the river canyon out earlier. So I'm testing um, agility two with agility one. I'm not boosting it in any way, so if I fail, I'll just take a damage and uh, find a new location. And it's a zero, so we barely fail it. And uh, we'll just see. So, 
uh, place your invest in the Riven Cannon if it's not in play. Search the exploration deck for Riven Cannon and put it in play first. Shuffle the exploration deck. So we'll search this. And uh, there's the River Canyon. And then we shuffle the exploration deck. Okay, so we still have a couple of locations in the exploration deck that we can explore to. And five treacheries. So we fall into the River Canyon. There is one clue here and a shroud of four. And there's an action heal one damage from an investigator at River Canyon. Check your supplies. If you have a canteen, heal two additional damage. So uh, I didn't talk about any of the supplies. I am playing as I don't have any supplies because this is basically just a uh, standalone playthrough, so I thought that I won't uh, use the, the supplies in this playthrough. So we also took one, uh, took two damage, so I'll take one on Leo and one on Leo. So one on Leo De Luca and one on Leo Anderson. Okay, so that is our first turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a dodge and we gain one whistle. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add a Doom, and it's one of six Doom. First encounter card is Griefing Poison. Search each investigator who is poisoned takes one damage. We are not poisoned, so it just searches. And Snake Bite. So test agility 3. If you fail, you must either choose one deal of five damage to an ally asset you control. Uh, take one direct damage. If you are not poisoned, put a set aside poison to weakness into play in your threat area. Also, <laughs> uh, I forgot to use last turn uh, Leo's ability to uh, play an ally asset of, as a free action, reducing its cost by one. So, uh, well, I'm not backtracking that much. So, we'll just see how the game continues. I think we might just lose Leo here. I really don't want to get the snake fight or the poison this early. So, uh, testing uh, th uh, 1 versus 3 and minus 3, so we fail. So, uh, bye bye Leo. So, Leo unfortunately is defeated. And uh, uh, we lose the extra action. I think as a free action we'll just play the guard top down. And costs minus one. So at least we have an ally to soak another snake bite or something else. I think we move back uh, here because we still don't have a lot to good cars for investigating, so actually let's not do that. I'll use the action here to heal. Second action, we'll just try to investigate. Uh, we are investigating. Or should I draw a card? I think I'll draw a card. Okay, ease drop. Mm. I'll actually uh, commit the ease drop this investigation. So I'm investigating 4 versus 4 and it's an elder sign so we manage to grab this clue, lose the east drop and Leo's elder sign ability is uh, plus 2. So let's top 3 cards of your deck for an ally asset and draw it shuffle your deck. So let's see our top 3 cards. No allies, unfortunately, we were just about to get the machete. So we'll shuffle the deck. So unfortunately, we didn't get an ally asset this turn. And that is the 
investigation phase. We'll go to the enemy phase, no enemies, we go to upkeep, uh, we draw another elusive, gain one resource, and that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Yeah, they do. Encounter card for this turn is another creeping poison. Again, we are not poisoned, so we don't take any damage, but it searches into arrows from the trees. Take one damage plus one additional damage for each ally asset you control. Each other investigator at an ancient location must also resolve this effect. So I'll just take two damage on Leo. We want to save uh, the held on guard dock for the guard dock activations. And uh, that is the Mythos phase, we'll go to the investigation phase, we'll move up to the rope bridge and we'll just investigate 3 versus 2. It's a 0, uh, we'll get this clue, so we still need one more clue, but I won't investigate from the rope bridge, so I'll move back down here for in more investigating or more exploring next turn. So that was a quick turn. No enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, uh, we unfortunately get the stubborn detective, but uh, we are able to fight the detective next turn. And uh, just mark the detective up, so he's engaged with us. And uh, we gain one resource. That is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, and uh, we'll add a doom. Three of six. And counter cards for this turn is another snake bite. Well, that's annoying. Mm. Okay, well, it is what it is. Uh, I'm not committing any cards, so it might just be that the guard dog is also defeated. So, unless we hit the Elder Sign, the card took to take the snake bite. And we hit the skull, and skull is a zero, but it doesn't help us. Unfortunately, the card took is also dead. I'm not taking the two damage. Okay, well, I think we're just uh, try to punch this stubborn detective to death. So, first action I'll hit. Uh, 4 versus 2. Uh, 4 versus 3. It's a 0. So, we deal 1 damage. Second action uh, we'll hit again. Minus 1. That's enough. We defeat the stubborn detective. No idea why this detective followed us into the rainforest, but at least we punch him out so we can continue exploring. So last action I'll explore. So we are looking for many more symbols than last time. So uh, we find the Serpent Haven, which is connected. So I'll just put it over here. In a uh, Forgotten Age, you really need to pay attention to the location connecting, connection, so this isn't connected here, but it is connected only here and to other locations. Let's just actually move this up a bit, because we might need the room below the Serpent's Haven. So there are two clues here, and Serpent's Haven is uh, two shroud. Clue location each serpent enemy at the serpent's haven gets plus one fight force. As you investigate or explore while at the serpent's haven, if you are poisoned, take one damage. So, really good that we didn't take any of those serpent bites and get poisoned. So, we are able to investigate or explore here safely. And that is our turn. No enemies, we'll go to upkeep, we'll draw a card. We get guts and we gain one resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add a doom. We are at four of six. 
the encounter card for this turn is Boa Constrictor. It's uh, four fight, four uh, health, and two evade enemy hunter. After Boa Constrictor attacks you during the next upkeep phase, uh, your exhaust cards cannot ready. So that is annoying. This makes our life really, really hard because we still don't have a weapon. And uh, I think I might just investigate here. Then I could uh, just get away with elusive. So I would dodge and uh, just leave this bow constructor here. Well, uh, we'll have to think about it for a moment. So this enemy is engaged with us. Okay, well... Um, this is really annoying. Um, I think... Yeah, I'll just have to check. Because we have to be at a non-campsite location to advance, so we can't just grab blue, go to the camp and advance. Okay, well... We might try to give the snake a run around, but uh, that's maybe not a good idea. This really, really is annoying. Well. Okay, so I'm investigating here, and I'll dodge the attack. It's an Elder Sign. Uh, we'll grab the top three cards, and we find Leo de Luca. We'll take Leo into hand. So that's actually great. might have to spend both of my elusives in a few turns here, but we'll see. So uh, we'll grab the clue. Uh, second action. Oh, uh, actually, this is a fast action, so I'll play the elusive. So, disengage from each enemy, engage with you, and move to a revealed location with no enemies. So, I just have to think I have two actions, so I could try to advance, parlay, and move to the camp. Okay, I will risk it. So, this is unengaged from us. We'll move to the rope bridge and we'll use the clues. So let's see. The natives. Put the set aside uh, Ishtaka enemy into play at the lead investigator's location. Shuffle the encounter discord pile into the encounter deck. So we Find Ishtaka. And now we have to somehow pass a parlay test. So Ishtaka is engaged with us. Just move this uh, power here. Second action. Uh, we'll try to with Ishtaka. Uh, I really want to be at least uh, equal to the test. And uh, I have Elusive. I'll go one up and hope for the best. So I'll commit Leo and the other Elusive for this test. So we are looking for uh, Skull 0 minus 1 to pass this test. 
or the Elder Sun actually also works. So and <laughs> it's an Elder Sign. Okay, well we'll check our deck. No allies, but um, again the machete is just always on the top, and we always shuffle it back. But the main thing here is that we managed to call level with Ishtaka, so uh, Ishtaka is a 5 fight, 4 health, 4 evade enemy, humanoid S3 elite, alert, retaliate, parlay, uh, test intellect 4 to convince Ishtaka that you are not her enemy, if you succeed place one blue from the token back on her, if you fail, and Ishtaka is ready, she attacks you, so we succeeded. Just take this off because now we are advancing again. So, if there are one or more clues per investigator on Istaka, place her in the victory display and advance. So, Istaka goes to the victory display. So, we advance. Uh, remember that Istaka is leading the way. Add one. Call this token to the chaos back for the remainder of the campaign. Shuffle the three set aside ruins locations into the exploration deck and advance to Act 3A search for the ruins. Okay, and we have the ruins locations over here. So we have the ruins of Estli, Temple of the Fang, and the Overground Ruins, and we are trying to find the ruins of the Estli. Shuffle this here. Okay, I think that's enough shuffling. We still have one action left, but let's check what we need to do. So, we need three clues. Uh, each Esli guarding enemy cannot attack or be attacked, nor the effects of each arrows on the tree's treachery. Checked if only investigators at Ruins of Estli can spend the required number of clues to prove the advance. So we need to find some more clues and the Estli Ruins. Last action. I think I'm just uh, drawing cards at this point. So we find the machete as the last action and uh, now we can actually play it and maybe try to kill that damn snake. Okay. Enemy face, the boa constructor hunts here. Uh, we draw another card, we find the flashlight, that is actually really good. And we gain one resource. So that is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 5 doom of 6, and counter card for this gen is Lost in the Wilds. Test uh, willpower 3, if you fail take one horror, for each point you fail by and lost in the wilds, uh, put lost in the wilds in your threat area. You cannot move or explore. Pause at the end of your turn, discard lost in the wilds. Okay, um, I think I'm saving uh, the gods for later. So we might avoid getting poisoned from the advancing agenda. So I'm just testing 3 versus 3. I think we can wait for the boa here. Just prepare for it. Might see us for one uh, time. But we don't have any cars that we need to get uh, ready. So. It's a zero, so we pass, so nothing happens. First action, uh, we don't have any allies to play with our ability, but I'll play the machete. Uh, actually, no, I'll play the emergency cash to get three resources. Second action, I'll play the machete. And uh, last action. I'll draw a card. It's another flashlight, so at least we have ways to investigate. 
uh, enemy face, the gun structure moves here, uh, hits us for one damage and one horror. Next turn we will try to kill it with the machete, upkeep, we draw a card, we get um, evidence and we gain one resource. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Okay, so um, first thing first, we add a doom so the agenda advances. So, the Serpent's attack. Shuffle the encounter, discard pile, and the set aside agents of Yig encounter set into the encounter deck. So, we have the agents of Yig encounter set here. So, we'll shovel that in a moment. Mm, each investigator test uh, will power 3. For each, investi each investigator who fails, performs the following in order. If you are poisoned, take 1 damage and 1 horror. If you are not poisoned, put the set aside poisoned weakness into play in your threat area. So we'll uh, shuffle these into the encounter deck. So now there are quite a lot of more enemies here. Okay. And uh, oh yeah, and then we make the will power test. I'll commit the guts for this test. So I'm testing a six. Versus uh, three. It's a skull, which is a zero, so we pass, and we also draw a card, and we get dodge. Okay. So, uh, actually, because we have the evidence, I think I will just. Uh, no. Uh, if I move, move, I don't have enough attacks. I was thinking if I move to Serpent's Haven, we could kill the Constructor there. Uh, let's just start whacking at it. So I'm hitting 5 versus 4. So not really good odds, but it is what it is. They're still, uh, the skulls are still mm, zeros and uh, I think we have a... oh yeah, um, before we do any more tests, I forgot to add this cultist token. The cultist minus X is the location's play, uh, so it's a minus 4, that's also a nasty token to have. Uh, first token is a skull, so we deal 2 damage to the power constructor. Second action... And it's another skull. So this enemy is dead. Unfortunately, it's a vengeance enemy, so it goes into the victory display. And there's two vengeance points in the victory display, so that makes our life a bit harder from now on. Our last action, we'll move to the river canyon. So uh, next turn we can. Oh yeah, mm. I think I forgot to <laughs> draw the encounter. Card. So let's back up. So, okay, before we move anywhere, I will test uh, Lost in the Wilds. Okay, luckily it wasn't an enemy because then we would have had to redo our whole, whole turn. So, minus five. We fail. Uh, if you fail, take one horror for each point you fail by and add Lost in the Wilds. Oh dear, this is painful. So, we take, uh, we fail by. Uh, we're a one up and we got a minus five so yeah uh, take three horror so this is quite bad we only have two sanity left and we can't move we discard at the end of our turn uh, no enemies we go to upkeep we draw our power gain one resource Okay, well, hopefully we we don't uh, uh, get too many cards that deal horror before we get some horror soak in. But that was that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Uh, we add doom. The doom threshold is now nine. So, and 
counter card for this turn is Ancient Evil, so we add one doom. Okay, well, at least there wasn't an enemy to annoy us. So I'll move, move, and uh, I'll play the flashlight. So we have a better chance to explore next turn. So I'll Charges on the flashlight. That was our whole turn. No enemies. Upkeep. We draw a card. Another machete. And a resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Another doom. Uh, three of nine. The encounter card for this turn is. It's a bit viper. So at this point, I think we are not. Minding the uh, vengeance, so I'll just quickly dispose of this bit viper by hitting uh, with the machete. Uh, 5 versus 3. It's a minus 2, so the bit viper is dead. Goes to the victor display. I uh, will investigate. I'll use the flashlight. Uh, investigating. Uh, 3 versus 0. It's a minus 2, so we grab this blue. Then, uh, last action we will explore. And we find the overgrown ruins, and that is actually not connected. Uh, so double checking. Yeah, it would have been connected to the rope bridge, but it is not that. Okay, uh, next up we will explore to Path of Thorns. And that is connected. Yeah, okay. Also, it seems to be connected to the river canyon, so I'll put it uh, down here. So this uh, shuffles back into the uh, exploration deck. Okay. And there is one clue here. And uh, connections here and here. And uh, we still need some clues, so next turn I think I'm investigating uh, here, after you fail a skill test while investigating battle turns, take one damage if you score and fail. Okay, so I think we might not uh, investigate here. We'll see. Um, no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw guts, and we gain another resource. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are uh, on 4 of 9 Doom, uh, and counter card for this turn is another Ancient Evil, who shuffled this deck. Uh, we add another Doom, so we are really running out of time. We really need to find that damn Temple, of, uh, not Temple of the Fam, but the Ethsley Ruins. So first action, we don't have any allies to play for free, so I'll investigate with the flashlight. We are investigating uh, 3 versus 1. Hope that's enough. And it's an auto fail. Of course. Second action, we do that again. We really, <laughs> really don't have this much time to. Oh, yeah, and uh, we fail a test, so we take one damage. Okay, uh, Leo is hurting mentally and physically. Luckily this time we get a zero, so we grab this clue. Last action we'll move back to the Serpent's Haven, so we can explore there next turn. And no enemies, we go to upkeep, we draw a card, we get the 45 automatic. Not really useful at the moment, but it is what it is. That is that turn, let's go to the next turn. Uh, we are at 6 Doom of 9, and to remind, this is the last 
agenda so we only have uh, a couple of more turns left so we really need to hustle uh, okay well uh, we added the doom the encounter card is another snake so pit viper unfortunately we are racking up the uh, vengeance for this run so um, let's see uh, I think we just commit on killing killing the snake and uh, I'll actually commit do I have a uh, I commit the other machete for this test so I'm hitting uh, six versus three to just secure that we kill this thing it's a minus two, so this is also dead. Goes into the victory display. Second action is to explore. Let me just check. I could have played overpowered there instead. Well, I'll, I think I'm fine. Mm, yeah, so we'll explore. So we are looking for the. Ethely ruins and it is connected. So luckily we found the ruins. Now we just need to grab a clue. So we have three clues to be able to advance. So uh, last action, I'll play another flashlight. So we discard this flashlight and play this flashlight. And. Uh, no enemies, upkeep, we draw a card, we get a guard dock. Nice, uh, we'll actually play that next turn. Oh yeah, let's add charges to the flashlight. That is, oh yeah, one resource, so that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. We are at 7 of 9 doom, and counter card for this turn is... Serpent of Yoth. Okay, well, I think as a fast action first we'll play the guard dock. I'll use two resources for that. Mm, do we want to just kill this guy? It's a victory point, so I think we'll risk it and try to kill it. Uh, we have the dodge in hand. So let's see, uh, there is three or more vengeance points in the victory display. Okay, so this guy takes less damage, so let's forget about killing it. Uh, I'll investigate, I'll use dodge to cancel this attack. Then uh, I'm using the flashlight. I'm also committing uh, uh, evidence to the test. And uh, I'm investigating uh, 5 versus 1. So there are the auto fail, the cultist, and the minus 5. But we draw plus 1, so we grab one clue. That is enough. We can spend 3 clues per investigator to advance. And. Uh, Discovery of a lifetime. Resolution 1. So, we were able to uh, defeat this scenario. This scenario is really tough, but uh, we still have to remember that we have four vengeance points in the victory display. That is not good at all. Uh, usually you want to avoid racking up vengeance as much as possible in this uh, campaign, because later parts of this campaign vengeance points really hurt you uh, but uh, it is what it is and I'm happy to get to the end uh, we weren't able to get the two victory points from here uh, we racked up one and one from here so not that big of a victory point hole but still I think the deck worked like I intended it to work we were able to parlay fast with Ishtaka. This scenario really taxes your actions. And if you uh, get stuck exploring and don't find the 
um, occasions you are in trouble. As you can see, uh, we didn't hit any of the treacheries, which is quite surprising. Um, sometimes that happens, sometimes you just explore on the exploration camp and don't get anywhere. Uh, that is actually why I really like the return to version of uh, the Forgotten Age more and I think from now on uh, for this demonstration purposes I'll play the exploration deck as it's uh, written in the basic uh, campaign version but when I'm playing alone even if I'm not playing the return to version I might just use the uh, new way to use the exploration deck but yeah that's just my preference because I really don't like how the exploration deck works. Anyway, uh, Leo was able to get to the end. We got resolution one and uh, that is uh, Leo Anderson with two corset worth of player cards and uh, Forgotten Age deluxe box cards. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching and until next time.